the significance of internal control and the relation with authority. One, why does your company need internal control? Let's start with why the Sarbanes-Oxley Act (SOX) was enacted in 2001. Enron Corporation was found to have committed financial fraud by overstating in profits, in financial statements, and cover up debts and losses. The stock market became fluctuates due to the scandal, and Enron stock price dropped from more than ninety dollars per share to less than one per share. The financial scandal at Enron and other companies. Rocked the financial markets. This fraud shook investor confidence in the trustworthiness of corporate financial statements. The Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002 came in response to these financial scandals involving publicly traded companies. One of three major provisions of SOX is internal control, required to ensure. The integrity of financial and accounting information, promote accountability, and provide prevent fraud. Unlike publicly traded companies, since no requirement exists for private companies to establish a system of internal controls, there may be misconceptions that. Such controls slow down business operations, wasting time and resources, and also does not consider changes in the business over time. Actually, a well-designed and operating internal control can mitigate risks, adding value to the company, and help the executives and investors effectively manage their organization. For example, Anna is a employee of bakery company. She embezzled the company's money to purchase a gift for herself. After she received the gift, she destroyed the purchase order, invoice, and bill of lading. A lack of segregation of duties can allow employees easily access. To every company's account and steal the assets from the company. This fraud can be prevented by a well-designed and effective operating internal control.